Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Tekkit tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be looking at some more um, equivalent exchange and we're going to be looking at the energy collector and the antimatter relay. So this here is the energy collector and this over here is the antimatter relay. So um, but before we get into that, um, we're going to sort of work with those towards the end of the tutorial. Uh, we're first going to look at um, at these things over here. And what these are, um, they help create certain um, items within um, equivalent exchange. So the first, there's, to get to this point over here, the Aeternalis etonal fuel, still not sure how to pronounce some of these words in equivalent exchange you need to go through a process of creating two other um, f sort of fuels before getting to the main one um, the first one is our chemical coal the next is Mobius fuel and then you get to the Aetonalus fuel and um, to create um, the alchemical coal you need to use a philosopher's stone. So if you go back and watch um, Tekka tutorial number six, I will show you how to create one of these. So I won't be showing you again. Um, but I'll take you through a the step by step process in creating um, our chemical coal, Mobius fuel, and Aetonalus fuel. So we're going to go into our crafting table, and you're going to put your philosopher's stone. Um, now there's two ways you can do this. I always put the Philosopher's Stone in the top left-hand corner, and then I I do that. So you can either do it this way, which is sort of the shape of a Tetris block, or you can do it that way. doesn't really matter. So we're going to need um, our chemical coal, and once we have our chemical coal, then you're on your way to making um, Mobius fuel. You're going to need a four chemical coal to make um, one Mobius fuel, so if we put another three in there and shift click and you'll get your fuel. Oh, we've got a little visitor. Right, so <clears throat> once you have four chemical coal, you're going to do the exact same thing with it that you did with the coal and you're going to get your Mobius fuel. So you need to, it does use quite a lot of coal um, so, be prepared. Right, so, we'll stick these ones in. And we're actually going to need one more. So, so when one stack of coal is pretty much going to get you four Mobius fuel. And that's quite expensive. And then that will get you one Aeronalius fuel. So we're going to do the exact same thing as before, and you'll get your eight and alias fuel. So that's pretty simple. So with that out of the way, we can move on to create something really awesome, and that is these little guys. Now what you would use these for is to store EMC, and EMC is the um, sort of measurement of items an item's sort of worthiness in Tekkit. Um, so, for example, um, an ice cube is going to get you one EMC. A uh, track is going to get you 96. And then you go on to a diamond block, which is going to get you 73,728. Um, if you do go back to Tekkit tutorial number six, you'll, s you'll get a full explanation of all of this. Now, claim stars you'd use these to um, store EMC, which you can use to power later on um, dark matter furnaces, red matter furnaces. You can use it in um, transmutation tablets, which is this guy over here. And I did show you last time how to use it and craft one. So I've sort of been messing about with it. So firstly, let me, let me go over how much each star stores. So the claim star iron is going to store 50,000 EMC as its max. The Zui, or however you pronounce it, 
is going to store a maximum of 200,000 EMC. The DRE is going to be 800,000. The FIR is going to be 3.2 million. So, oh, sorry, 3.2 million is 3,200,000. Um, the SPHERE is going to be 12,800,000. And the OMEGA is going to be 51,200,000. So that's all. That's how much EMC is stored within each star. And I'll move on how to create them. So, to get a clay star Ein, which by the way is German, um, and um, Ein, zwei, drei, vier is one, two, three, four, and then you get Sphere and Omega, which is not German. So, uh, let's go into the crafting table, and oh, I did take them. So, as I showed you before, you're only going you're going to use alchemical fuel to make Mobius fuel and you're not going to go all the way and create Aetonelius fuel because it doesn't need it. It only needs Mobius fuel and it needs exactly eight. So you're gonna use a diamond and you're gonna surround it with Mobius fuel. And that will get you a clean star iron. Now now that you have that out of the way it's very simple to create the rest of the stars. As you can see here, I've laid them out. Um, I'm not going to show you how to craft them because it's all on screen as is. So you would put it into a crafting bench or even your inventory crafting slot. And you're going to use four clay star ains to create a clay star sui, sui, way, whatever it's called. Um, so, um, once you have four of those, which is going to take 16 of these, then you can create one of those. No, four of those, sorry. Then the same process repeats itself. Four of those are going to create four, one of those. Four of those are going to create one of these. Four of these is going to create one of these. And four of these are going to create one of these, which is the biggest and best star you can get. And that there stores 51,200,000 EMC. So there we go. Very simple. It's, it's just it's really straightforward. Um, so once you have one of them, I'll show you very quickly how you would use one. Um, we're going to need to go outside to do this and let me just turn off all the weather very quickly right so we're going to grab some of those some of these and what you're going to want to do is well, what I do is to create um, is just create a staircase going down into the ground and any YouTube video you see of someone playing tech and playing around with um, equivalent exchange you'll see them use this um, configuration Quite a, quite a lot. Um, and also, if you go back to my um, sixth tutorial on equivalent exchange, you will see how to make an energy condenser, and it would be handy to have one of those as well. And I'll explain to you why in just a second, so we'll put them down over there. And then you want to shift and right click on there, and then you get your antimatter relay. <clears throat> So what an antimatter relay does is, it if you put any item from the game into the antimatter relay, it's going to convert it into EMC. So it's the same as the um, the transmutation tablet. It's the same as the energy condenser. Uh, so let's go for example. Let's take a jack o' lantern. Let's stick him in there, and you'll see up at the top over here, it's added. 144 because it's EMC, which you can see just under the jack o' lantern is 144. So you can add the whole bunch in and it will cook them like a furnace and that will build up. I'm going to speed up the process a bit and I'm going to add a diamond block into the mix and that's going to get us 74,880 EMC. And now you're going to want to charge your claim star. So to charge it, you need to pop it into 
the section with the lightning bolt and you'll slowly see this starting to go down and this here is the amount that the clay star is full and it will move up quite a rapid rate and obviously it changes color and its damage value drops because it's getting stronger. We'll take that out for now and then let me move on to one of these very quickly and this is a energy collector so you want to put the energy collectors I usually do it like this because it, um, the amount um, of EMC you get climbs drastically from we'll destroy that chest for now and you'll see it's climbing by itself now because these here are in contact with the sun and they're absorbing the sun's energy to create EMC so it's creating EMC out of nothing pretty much so if we destroy that, the antimatter relay you'll see each one will start climbing on its own so if you put your claim star in into, or any claim star you have into the bottom slot of your um, of your energy collector it's gonna it's not gonna power up over here it's gonna power up your star so if I take the star out you'll see this number climbing put the star back in and it will feed the star it's a bit slow a bit of a slow process um, and that's why you'd use the anti antimatter relay um, it charges much faster especially with having all of these around right so let me find where my star is there we go so what we'll do is we'll pop that back down in there and we'll put our chest back in there and now this here people that have watched um, those of you who have watched um, my sixth tutorial you'll know all about this and if we want to create a jack-o-lantern it's going to take power from the antimatter relay and it's going to push it down into this chest and it's going to create stuff pretty much for free so you win some you lose some now if I destroy these it's not going to move at all <coughs> and we'll take him out and we'll pop um, diamond block in and you'll see it's going to create all of these jack-o-lanterns so that, that cost us something, that cost us 9 diamonds to make all of that so if we go ahead and we replace that you'll see that it's going to climb on its own again and obviously it's going to climb slower with the, with the less of these you have around so it has dropped down quite drastically right so so these here are um, for pretty much charging um, your your claim stars um, for creating items in a chest over here and as we advance in our tutorials I will be showing you how to create um, a Relay MK3 which is a souped up version of the antimatter relay and it creates stuff much faster you also get upgrades of the energy collector and that will improve um, EMC gain by a whole lot so um, keep keep a lookout for those right so let me come back to the transmutation tablet and what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a quick example of the claim star aim so you'll see here this is the amount of stored EMC I have at the moment in my transmutation tablet so if I stick a diamond block into there it's gonna it's gonna jump so these here are what you is what you can craft is what your your table has learned and this here is the amount of EMC that you have to spend on items that you want so if I keep clicking diamond blocks it's gonna drop because I'm spending all of them and if I put them in there it's gonna jump straight back up again now the claim star aim what it does is it will whatever EMC you have at the bottom here it's going to fully charge your, your claim star but if you take your claim star out you're going to lose uh, 50,000 EMC from it so you can actually spend items on from your table um, just off your claim star so 
Obviously, if we have a bigger, more expensive star like the Klein Star Amiga, which holds a whopping 51,200,000 EMC, it's going to take. It's obviously not going to charge fully because you don't have enough EMC in here. You take that out and it's going to drop because all of your EMC that was there is now stored in your Klein Star. But if you still want to be able to purchase stuff from this section here, you simply take your Klein Star. Stick it straight in, and then you can teach items to your transmutation tablet, and you can buy stuff from the AMC in your Clean Star. Or if you want, simply want to just keep adding stuff to it, you can as well. Right. So, with that out of the way, we're going to move on to crafting the antimatter relay and the energy condenser. Okay, so to create a an energy condenser you're going to need six pieces of glowstone, glass, one block of diamond, which is nine diamonds, and a furnace. Pretty simple. If you've started off with um, this before and you're using the energy condenser you'll find it very easy to get diamonds in the beginning of the game. So you're going to put your diamond block in the middle going to put your furnace at the bottom, glowstone on either side of that, and piece of glass at the top in the middle. And then we'll get to an energy collector. Next, we're going to move on to the antimatter relay, which is seven pieces of obsidian, a diamond block, and glass. So once again, not too expensive. And if you create a whole lot of these, like I've done out here, then you're not going to have a problem gaining gaining stuff. You could put a diamond in there if you want, and you just you just go AFK for I don't know 20 minutes, come back, and you'll have a whole ton of diamonds. So it's very ha handy. I just broke my glass. Okay, so I hope I hope I've. Um, I've helped you guys to understand a little bit more about um, equivalent exchange. Um, these two items here are very handy for um, early on in the game. Um, you leave them running, you move on to a bit of industrial craft, you do a little bit of mining, you can pump stra stuff straight into one of these, you're going to get EMC, you're going to create diamonds, create anything you want, and it's just it's just a really fun and simple way of gaining resources. Um, for let's be honest, not doing much. So, um, so yeah, I hope I've explained this um, well enough for you guys to understand. Um, and I also do want to um, thank everyone once again for subscribing. Um, your likes and your favorites, your shares. Everything is just really nice to see you guys um, taking interest and being able to learn stuff um, from from me and the stuff that I'm making. And I really appreciate it. And I love how much you guys appreciate it as well. Keep the comments coming. And do also comment on what you would like to see in future tutorials. Um, you guys are... Or what's running the show so I want your input and I will do what you guys want me to do um, so I'm not quite sure what the next tutorial is going to be but um, keep those comments coming and I will see you guys next time